Yo, 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 what it do, what it be, y'all, it's your boy A-N-T coming to you live with the Grand Theft Auto 5 commentary, and if y'all watched any of my NFL prediction videos, y'all probably heard some of the disdain that I have for Tom Brady, I I'll admit it, I, I don't really like the guy, <laughs> but in no way am I trying to discredit or make light of any of his great accomplishments by any means like I know he got the greatest Super Bowl comeback of all time I noticed he turned the Falcons into a meme in the process I watched it happen <laughs> he's what fourth all-time passing yards third all-time touchdowns Three-time uh, league MVP, four-time Super Bowl MVP, with five Super Bowl rings. <laughs> he a uh, nine-time AFC champion. Let's see. Let's round him up. Can I round him up like zombies? Except they got guns. Oh no, it's kind of the same concept. Okay. This dude's really annoying. I got a grenade up in here. Thank you. Start chucking them. I'm gonna come around back. But <laughs> uh, what did I say? He a nine-time AFC champion, fifteen-time divisional champion. Even though he in the AFC week, I mean the AFC East. We'll give that to him. <laughs> uh, uh, don't forget, Patriots fans won't let won't let me forget that he was drafted in the sixth round, 199 overall in the 2000 draft. <laughs> Just in case y'all forgot, but no lie though, he a uh, he a no, he a first ballot Hall of Famer, no questions asked. And if you a Brady fan and you even put him up there in your, uh, your Mount Rushmore quarterbacks or whatever, I I wouldn't disagree with that. That that's fair, I guess. He 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 done did it, but he ain't on my Mount Rushmore, and he damn sure could never be. My goat. <laughs> for real, for real. I mean, if we be in 100, I put Peyton Manning and Smoking Joe over TB12 any day of the week, OT on Sunday. <laughs> and as my homie Dylan would say, Tom Brady at, at max is probably top five at five, maybe. Top four at four. But, I mean, the only other quarterback that I could really think of ahead of him is uh, Aaron Rodgers. But, that's really it. And, and again, I understand. We are witnessing dominance that we will never see in the NFL for a very long time. We're seeing dominance that we haven't seen since the, what was it, the... 80s 49ers maybe the 90s Bulls early 2000s Lakers but they lasted longer than all of them and uh, notice how I ain't saying none of LeBron James or none of his teams <laughs> uh, I'll get to him in another video this video is not about him though <laughs> but You know, I, I get it. We're witnessing dominance and all that. And, and any team that Bill Belichick has put around Tom Brady has had or seen some form of success. And that's why I think Tom Brady isn't the GOAT, but he the GSQ boat. 
He the greatest system quarterback of all time. <laughs> GSQ boat. And they, like just be look at it. If you take Bill Belichick out of the equation, is Tom Brady Tom Brady? Does he have all the rings and the records? And the uh the hot model wife kinda looks like a dude. Uh does he have the UG deal? Probably not. Probably not, yo. Where is this truck? Oh, they roaming together. I gotta take them both out. It was like, okay. Why is this truck all the way down there, fam? Oh, well. I can't see him now. They're gonna have to come back around. Smoking all day homies. <laughs> but. Uh. Like I said, you take Bill Belichick out, does he have all them things? Probably not. He been he really been blessed to play with the greatest mind in NFL history. It don't matter with how you, offensive, defensive, scouting, drafting, you name it. Bill Belichick could do it. Yo, they really tried to roll up on me like that. Okay. Really? Really now? They gonna kill me. They gonna kill me like that? Nah, I ain't dead yet. <laughs> oh, there's some armor over here. Run. <laughs> Don't let them snipe you like that. Let's get it. I heard y'all trying to shoot me. It's cool. But... If, like, if you look back at it, Bill Belichick almost brought a Super Bowl, a Lombardi trophy, to to Cleveland. They're going to kill me while I'm getting a soda. I'm lacking while it's cracking. Oh, he even going to let me drink it. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, he's not. I was lacking while it's cracking. I'll come back, though. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but yeah. Bill almost brought a Lombardi trophy to Cleveland, to the Browns, before they folded. Came back and became a laughing stock. Bill did that. When Tom was out for the season, Pats won 10 games with Matt Castle. When he was just suspended a season ago, or yeah, I think it was a season ago. They went 3-1. and one. And not just three and one, they went three and one with two different starting quarterbacks. <laughs> like and and look at all any QB that leaves Bill. They ain't the same. Bledsoe, who's he? He's he was a nobody without him. Castle was a bust after Bill a chick. And that really wasn't his fault to be to be fair. He got hurt. And uh, really wasn't the same. And that's only because the Chiefs ain't have that patented Bill Belichick Patriots O-line that Tom Brady been hiding behind his whole career. <laughs> Go ahead and place a mine right over there. I don't know where they're coming from. Got him. <laughs> but yeah, and I mean... If if you the, if that don't sound familiar, look at Jimmy G. 49ers ain't have that same O-line that, that Brady been hiding behind and that Jimmy G was hiding behind for a couple games. Uh so he we we're looking to see if he's the, still the same player after he tore his ACL. <laughs> and then Jacoby Brissett kind of just is the one unscathed in all this. He left and he was a bench warmer before, he a bench warmer now, so. Big up to him, you know, he escaped the Belichick curse. <laughs> but, so we've seen Bill win without Tom. We've seen it happen, y'all. However, 
I don't think we'll ever see or as long as Robert Kraft is alive, we'll never see Tom win without Bill. And get the chance, stupid. <laughs> and, and the two QBs I, I have above Tom, they they've had success. They had success with the team they were drafted on. And then they went elsewhere. And uh became goats. I mean, granted, Joe Montana was with the Bucks before Bill Walsh kind of molded him into a goat. But he was a goat nonetheless. After after he left uh Bill Walsh and dominated the 80s, he went to the Chiefs and took them to their first AFC championship and they didn't even go back. Uh, they didn't see success like that and before or after Joe until Patrick Mahomes came along this season and lit the league up. So, and even, even Peyton. Peyton won a ship with the Colts and then took the Broncos to another one. Broke regular season records with them and then fell off a cliff. Had, and yeah, he. I'll give it to the Legion of Boom. They they beat us. It was their time, and I'm by no means making excuses for us. But in that game, we did not have. If y'all remember, we did not have Von Miller. Ryan Clady was hurt. Chris Harris was hurt. Uh, Derek Wolf hurt. So we ain't had. We wasn't 100 percent healthy. But I will give. We will never see another collection like the. Legion of Boom Seahawks ever again. Mark my words on that. So big big ups to them for getting they ring. They deserve that. But we wasn't healthy and then when we was healthy again, even with a broke down Peyton Manning, our defense was good enough to get the dub anyways. Which is cool. But I'll give it to Peyton any broke regular season. Records, two places. Found a had success. He was that smart. I think Peyton Manning, greatest, not the greatest quarterback of all time. He's the smartest quarterback of all time. That's that goat is smoking Joe. No, man, no rings left on the table. That's that's how you become a goat, y'all. When you leave nothing on the table. <laughs> so, uh, like, and we'll even get and to be real. If we're going, we'll take it a step farther and say, if you put Peyton Manning and Smoking Joe on any team, any era, that team automatically becomes a borderline playoff team, maybe even a Super Bowl contender. I'll argue with that with anyone, with any team. <laughs> but I can't say the same for Tom. If we keep it at 100, I don't think... Uh, I don't think Tom is the same even now. If you, if you, after this season, regardless if he wins the Super Bowl or not, if he leaves and goes to another team, beside any any team that didn't make the playoff, besides the Jags or maybe even the Vikings, does he make them a playoff contender? No. Being real, <laughs> does he? Make the Panthers a playoff contender. Switching out with Cam. No. Can I call in some backup on these levels? Or is that not allowed? <laughs> that would be nice. They get to call in truck. Oh. Oh, y'all really messed up. I could call in choppers. Really messed up. Now, my backup on the way. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, y'all ain't looking. I'm, I'm cooking. <laughs> Go ahead and find some cover real quick. I mean, yeah, like I said, he ain't helping. If you switch him out with Aaron Rodgers, is he making the Packers a, a playoff team? No. Does he win more games than Aaron Rodgers with the Packers this season? Probably not. Honestly. Does he, you know, do, uh, 
Raiders or the Giants? Two worst teams this year. Does he does he make them a playoff team next year if he goes there? No, he doesn't. Be real. I'll debate y'all on that. <laughs> Giants got the man who beat him two times, who's younger, more talent around him, offensively at least, and he still can't, still couldn't get the worst team in the league damn near. And the Raiders, look at their coach. It, it, even if you put Tom Brady back when he was drafted on another team, does he change their future? No. Any If it, any team in the AFC East takes a chance on him? No. Unless Bill Belichick stays with the Jets, but he only signed with them for 24 hours and he realized that that organization is a dumpster fire. Had to get out of there. <laughs> Let me find some cover. Oh, see, my chopper gonna go away right at the start of the round. Okay. That, that's not cool. Pepper and some grenades like that. And we're done. Heading back to base. But yeah, he ain't changing nobody's future. Like if he's drafted to any anywhere in the AFCs, he's not changing their future. Jets, Bills, whatever. He's not changing the Lions' future. He's not changing the Cardinals' future. Even though they went to a Super Bowl, really with just Larry Fitzgerald and Kurt Warner. Okay, that's not cool. <laughs> that's cool, I guess. Maybe this round will be easier now. Take some cover, Jesus. <laughs> but, e even case in point, there's this dude, Mark Bolger. Look him up. Drafted the same year. Same round Peyton Manning drafted him. Except he drafted a little earlier by the Saints. He, uh, if, if him and Brady swapped out, you think Tom Brady leads the Saints to a Super Bowl? No, you don't. At all. In 10 years, 20 years, Tom Brady don't lead the Saints to no Super Bowl. <laughs> uh... Mark Bolger might win a Super Bowl with the Patriots, though. With Bill Belichick building his dynasty up. All he needs is really, like, a decent QB. So, and even even then, guess where Mark, where Mark Bolger went after Tom Brady? Mark Bolger went to the Rams after the Kurt Warner era had ended. And they still had a decent team. For the most part. They still had Marshall Falk. They still had Isaac Bruce. Still had Torrey Holt. Still had a lot of their defense left over. Kurt Warner just got old. Retired. Whatever. And uh, Mark Bolger couldn't get the job done. You know. He had a whole team around him. None of those teams that I just mentioned. Have the structure that the Patriots do. Look at all 31 other teams. How many of them still have the same coach? From when Bill Belichick started. None of them. Closest one was probably Cincinnati. And they had Marvin Lewis. And they did not win a damn thing. So. Just looking at it. Who who really the brains behind the operation? Who needs who really? <laughs> Those other teams don't have a Bill Belichick. Running. Y'all wild for that, trying to run up on me in a truck like that. Wild. Oh, and they just get better aim with every round, huh? They really flanking you, boy. Hard. Hard. <laughs> but. So, regardless of any rings, Super Bowls, anything that Tom Brady does, as long as it's with Bill Belichick, I really can't put him up there as the number one GOAT of all time. He, a, he left rings on the table, and A, we ain't seen him be no uh, successful 
without that sleeveless Sith Lord of the Gridiron, Bill Belichick. Peyton Manning won a Super Bowl with a broken freaking neck. <laughs> Until Brady do something like that, or Tom or Bill gets sick for a season or something, uh, we, I, I can't put him up there like that. <laughs> Take something drastic for him to uh, supersede those two or be get put above those two. Even Aaron Rodgers, in my opinion. If Aaron Rodgers had a better uh, system, organization around him, he, he could have more than one Super Bowl. Lord knows why Drew Brees don't have more than one rock. They never put a team around him in his defense. He never had a defense besides when he won. But I, like I said, I put Smoke and Joe at goat, Peyton Manning at two, Aaron Rodgers maybe at three, and Tom Brady top four at four, y'all. <laughs> Regardless of if he wins this Super Bowl or not, if he wins the next two Super Bowls, as long as it's with that man, Bill Belichick, that god of the gridiron, he. He ain't, I, I could never look at him as nice like that. <laughs> so, if y'all enjoyed uh, my opinion on this, uh, go ahead and leave a like. You know, I'm going to be real. It, if y'all leave a dislike, I'm kind of being a hater in this video, and I can admit that. So, if y'all leave a dislike, I can't even be mad at you. <laughs> but, go ahead and subscribe and ring the damn bell to support the cause and... You know, so you don't miss none of my dope ass content dropping real soon. Uh, it's been your boy ANT, the elevated gamer, aka the above average gamer. Be safe out here and don't get smoked like all these dudes and they homies is getting smoked. Or like I just got smoked. <laughs> but uh, yeah, peace out, y'all. I'm out.